This is part two of my badger build, uh, adding the body, and you might think adding the body is the last thing that you should do, but my hardware still hasn't arrived from China, and it's uh, one of the few things I can do next, so I had the parts printed. Uh, I have two versions of this, sort of the cheap and dirty, and the one that uh, I'll paint and add decals to. This was uh, the first my first take at making the body, and there's actually four parts to it. You can see the fin here. There's a little hook underneath. We'll see how that works. This is the front part, and then there is a, a back part, and, and these are the front and the back joined together. Now, the front part will accept here, and you'll bolt this together with four M3 screws. You see one's missing here because this is really easy to damage. These holes in the front part are a little undersized. You need to drill these out to three millimeter, and because I didn't hold the tab well enough, uh, it ripped right off here. So you've got to make sure you hold the tab. The front part, you need to drill these out to three millimeter. The back part, you'll drill to two and a half millimeters because you want to be able to thread the bolt into the plastic and have it sort of self-thread. So this is what it'll look like. This will be the thread will, uh, or the screw will slide in through here and thread in through the back part. So this little hook gets uh, mounted on the underside of the back part of the front and it faces out. You got to make sure this is uh, straight, sometimes a little hard. The holes on the other side are fairly large. Uh, so this is the top of the back section of the front and underneath uh, you'll see the little hook. Now I mounted these just with uh, M3 six millimeter length uh, screws. I think it's intended to use uh, flathead countersunk uh, screws which I didn't have so I had to use uh, washers but you got to use small washers or they'll overlap here. Um, just here just a straight same, same uh, M3 six millimeter bolts uh, on both sides. So that little hook will go into the back here. This is the support for the tail fin. And uh, you can see you have to hook that in there. On the front, this is the shock support, shock mount, and there's a little tab in there. And you'll see the front wheel uh, hook right in there. So this is what it looks like when it's all uh, mounted together. Now one of the things you'll notice here is uh, I didn't paint anything here. If you don't paint it. If you just have the layer lines, paint will run, uh, tends to run on it. So what I did was I just printed out one or two layers of uh, whatever color I wanted and taped them on. You can see it sort of lifts here because this is two layers and it didn't really uh, didn't really uh, bend very well with the, uh, with the body. But that was just a, a quick way to do this body. Version 2 I wanted to do a little better so I printed uh, uh, with a little lower uh, layer height because in version 1 I had holes in the uh, body uh, from the extrusion didn't work quite well so when I switched on the yellow uh, body to a point 2 that worked a little better. I uh, tried to do my hand at body work, uh, certainly an amateur. I found that this Bondo uh, was suggested by some other uh, YouTubers who are doing body work. It's a uh, glazing and spot putty. It works pretty well. Uh, you can hide the seams with it and then you sand it and you need to do that several times and you need to get it if you want uh, you can get it pristine but you've got to do more work than I was willing to put in. Uh, you use a range of sandpapers from 200 to 1000 grit probably if you get 200, 400, 600 and 1000 you're probably fine but it's a bit of work. I didn't get rid of all the layer lines uh, especially in the body over here it's only one and two layers thick so I didn't want to be too aggressive I painted it with uh, just a sort of a general multi-surface paint. It's uh, similar to the rust, rust-oleum types of paints that you get. Uh, it bonds well to plastic. It's fast drying, dries in 30 minutes. It's a gloss. Really, you need to wait about uh, two hours if you're going to do multiple coats. It's pretty tacky. But overnight, certainly hardens up. And uh, once I put decals on this, I think, uh, and stripes, I think it'll look fairly well. Now. The way you can get decals, you can buy decals. This was included in a, a shock kit, and, and uh, so you just peel these off and put them on. But if you're making your own decals from uh, buying paper that you're going to put in an inkjet or a laser printer, one thing you should be aware of is that no printer will print white. Um, I bought clear um, 
laser paper. Uh, and then only then did I realize that uh, when I print my decals, no printer prints uh, the white section. So to get around that, you can buy um, decal paper um, that has a white backing. So some are clear, some are white. And uh, if you want to put decals on that have any white in them, make sure you get the white backing. It's nice if you could get a package of half clear, half white. Uh, I think they make them. I couldn't find them. The two types of decal paper you can get are water slide, where once you print it, you put it in water and the decal will slide off. Sometimes in some inkjet printers, the water will mute the colors a little bit. Or vinyl. I opted for vinyl. I've got those coming, but I haven't actually made the decals and, uh, and uh, stripes yet. So I have a little video on just how the, uh, how the uh, body will uh, go on the, the car. So what I did was I had enough parts just to make the basic uh, sort of structure. And uh, so the fin will go on uh, uh, the tower here with uh, the M3 six millimeter screws. I had to drill out the holes here about 2.5 millimeters. And then the front uh, just shows the, the screws here. The front will go in uh, to the shock tower tab. You can see the little fin here. That's what's got to connect underneath this uh, cross member here. So it just snaps down. I had the best luck if I pressed right where that fin is connected to the body and you push back a little bit. That's really all there is to it, then it sort of locks in. So it's pretty easy to put it on and off. And so this is the, uh, the red cover that I made. And uh, I'll be waiting my decal paper to uh, to hopefully hide all the flaws in the bodywork that I did there. <laughs>